Right, so I just thought to do a little video on um, a shock leader knot that I use. I know there's a lot of beginners on this page, and you know, I, I think trying to tie a shock leader. You know, I certainly remember myself when I was obviously just starting and stuff like this years ago. It was like, you know, it was it was a pain in the ass for me to be honest. You know, um, but yeah, the more you do them, obviously, the better you're gonna get at. So this is just a shock leader knot that I use, and you know, it's it's a pretty solid knot, pretty simple to make as well. Um, it's the spider hitch knot. Now there is the other one, which is the bewomany twist, and that's just a pain in the ass to tie for me. Uh, you know, this is just dead quick, dead easy. And as I say, you know, it, it is a solid, good, solid knot as well. So what you want to do is you want to take your, your main line. And then you want to double it over. So what you've got now effectively is around about, I don't know, a foot maybe of doubled over line. So towards this end where you've got your tag end here, just create a little loop like so. You've created a little loop and you've still got this big loop here. Now with this big loop here and this, this loop that you've created, what you're going to do is you're going to bring this back around your finger. Once. And just pinch it in between your finger and thumb. Twice. Three times. So you've gone around three times and you've still got this loop here. Now what you're going to do with this loop is this end here, this, this larger loop that you've still got here, you're going to pass that back through them two loops. So you're there. Now, with this hand and this loop, you want to pull it slowly and release each one of them loops that you've made around your finger slowly. So I'll do it slowly for you now. So you go one two three so there we go so you've got your free loop so you kind of made what looks like a bit of a figure of eight now what you want to do now is you want to pull all of these lines together so you've got this your main line and your tag end and then you, you doubled over loop that you've you basically just created as you can see here so a little bit of spit on that now and all lines double double over and then you want to just pull. Right, so that basically now is your spider hitch done. So what you've done is you've doubled over your line. So there's your knot. There's your tag end, which we can cut off now. So let's just cut that off. There we go. So basically you've got doubled over line now. And this will actually give you double the strength with your knot. That's why it's such a such a good knot, dead easy to make, solid knot. Have no issues with it whatsoever. So there we go. So now you want to, what you want to do is you want to tie your shock leader onto this. So you get your shock leader, and with this larger loop that you've got here, you want to pass it through that loop. So you've gone through the loop, and then what I do then is I go one two, three, four, so we'll pass it around four times, and then with the tag end, with this loop that's here in your finger, you want to go back through that loop and pull the tag end until you're around about this stage. So now, it's important now, when, when you tighten this up, so you've already got your spider hitch here. And to tighten this up, you want to pull either side of the knot. So you've got this side here and that side to come either side of both knots. A little bit of spit on there again. And then just pull. There we go. And that basically is the spider hitch. So as you can see, you've got that knot there that we first tied. You've got your doubled over line there for double the strength. And then you've got your shock leader knot there. So let me just let me just trim that off just to show you exactly what it looks like. It's actually quite a really neat knot. Um trim that off. There we 
go. So there we have it. Spider hitch, doubled over line, shock leader. There we go. Dead easy, solid. So I hope that helped people out there. Just try it, give it a go. There's videos on YouTube as well to try. And um, that's how I learned to do this knot. You know, it, it's great. Once you get these knots down to a tee, it's just dead easy. You know, if you have a snap off or anything like that, when you're fishing, it's just, you, you know, you're fishing again in no time. Dead easy. You can do, obviously do a lot, lot quicker than I've just done it, but this is just for demonstration purposes. You could literally have that knot done within 30 seconds, 60 seconds. Dead easy. Just give it a go. See you later.